Okay, what's up, YouTube? It is Pacey AI coming at you again one more time and about to give you a video about NVIDIA AI 2.0, model 2.0. So this is the new model for NVIDIA AI, and this is their video generation model. Now, obviously, NVIDIA AI has been one of the AI solutions that's been out there for a while where it relates to video generation for whether it be ads, YouTube explainers, script the video, YouTube shorts, news videos, whatever, right? There's a, you could, you, there's a ton of uh, possibilities that you can use in video AI. I do think that it is the most effective and most dynamic uh, video generation model out there. They recently released model 2.0. Model 1.0 was actually really good and I used it for videos in the past, right? So I wanna talk to you guys about how you can generate just a great video just using NVIDIA AI and really start a YouTube channel. Now, now, let's say you wanted to start a crypto news YouTube channel, right? Let's say you want to talk about cryptocurrency and you wanted to start a YouTube channel. So now, if you go to NVIDIA AI, you want to AI.NVIDIA.IO, you want to first sign up, right? Now, I have, there's different pricing structures. I pay for the max version, but you can start at the plus version and you get 50 minutes of video 50 minutes a month of AI generation, you get 80 a month in iStock, and also you get 100 gigabytes storage, so on and so forth. You get 800 gigabytes of storage here, you get 10 voices, and I'm gonna be talking about the voice clones as well, but let's get back to this. So obviously, as you can see, we have Molly here. So let's say you wanted to do a crypto news video. So you just click news, right? And just say, you could say something like the latest crypto, Create news video about the latest cryptocurrency currency currency news. All right? Yeah. It's cryptocurrency news. Now you can search the news and also check, right? So you can put like a Wikipedia link or something. For now, because this is just a simple video, I don't wanna put too much in there. I just wanna demonstrate this. Now you can pick your voice. Now, as you can see, we have you can say male, female, you can also say my voice, which in my voice, you can actually pick any voice that you created. I have a few voices that I added here, but for right now, we're not gonna use one of my voices. We're just gonna pick a male voice. And then it tells you a clear American voice. You have a California voice, New York, Southern accent, so on and so forth. Uh, you have a young kid's voice, British voice, English, middle age, old Husky, British, Mexican, Spanish, Canadian. So there's even some there's even some other languages that you can use. So there's French, Spanish, Indian. So there's a lot of different options here. There's languages that you can use for your narrator. And then you can essentially have multiple speakers actually. So you can have for speaker one, you could use a male voice for speaker one, and or you can use a male voice for a narrator, stuff like that. So you can actually change it up however you like. But for right now, I'm just going to pick it, put it in narrative. I'm going to say clear American voice, right? And right here, I'm going to put, I'm going to say, there's some different effects for the subtitles. So this is how you add your subtitles. I'm going to say add both subtitles with a pop-in effect. And then you can put your watermark here. I'm going to leave that as is. And then you can say, use iStock as needed, use fewer heights iStock if you don't want to use too much iStock because you have a limit on how much iStock you can actually use. There's a very short window of iStock material that you can use. I think for the pro version, you only get to use 80 iStock videos per month. So you can say only use iStock, use iStock as needed, give iStock reference over others, use fewer iStock, stuff like that. So I'm going to say, just use iStock as needed. Right. So now I'm going to click continue and I'm going to click generate video. Now what NVIDIA is going to do is that it's going to search the internet for the latest cryptocurrency news. And then it is going to use a clear American voice mail narrator and actually discuss the news that it, fi it finds. And when it finds that news, it will also add video to complement that news. So to add video from iStock, that will be complementary to that news. So before you can 
go ahead and generate the video, you have to pick the audience. So I'm going to pick cryptocurrency investor and I'm going to pick, yeah, I'm going to keep it dramatic and I'm going to pick you. You can also pick YouTube shorts and you can pick Facebook as well. So you could go ahead and continue and it's going to take some time to generate the video depending on how long the content is. You can also do script the video as well. You don't have to actually generate the content from the internet, but it just goes to show you how easy it is to generate videos that you can then upload to YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, whatever social media you use. You can upload YouTube shorts. You can have the video generated as a short to upload to YouTube and you could gain tons of views from this. You could start a YouTube channel, an automated YouTube channel just by doing this and doing this every day, right? It's literally that simple. Like you can start an automated cryptocurrency channel, automated news channel, sports channel, whatever you want to talk about. You can talk, you can start a channel like that just by using these tools right here. So it's very nice, great features. So let me skip to the end so you guys can see the final product. Okay. So our video is done generating now. So pretty much we have a video. So it says crypto shakeup, Merrill's bold move and buys economic talks. So it pretty much is summarizing the, the latest crypto news. So let me just play it so you guys can see. Plain text. Hey everyone, today let's dive into the latest buzz in the cryptocurrency world and how it's being influenced by big financial moves and even presidential engagements. First off, big news from Merrill Lynch. They're shifting gears significantly by embracing alternative investments. That's right, they're opening the doors wide. So as y'all can see, it's doing the video in a very news-like setting. It has a very news feel to it, uh, and they're using the iStock. The AI is using the iStock to to essentially complement what he, he is saying. So that's how the video is, pretty much. Turn it up a little. Which could eventually pave the way for broader acceptance of cryptocurrencies too. But here's where it gets even more interesting. While Merrill inches towards alts, Elliott Management is taking a step back from crypto. They're putting their bets on the introduction of an electronic dollar. Yeah, so that's pretty much, you pretty much get the gist of that. And obviously you could go here and you could actually edit what the, the user is saying. You can edit the music, right? You can edit the music, change the music. You can edit the script, right? You can go in and edit the script and, and, and kind of change what the narrator is actually saying, right? And then obviously you can add media. You can add the media from here, right? You can essentially put a prompt to, to how you would get the media. And then you could go here. You can add a text element. You can add a speaker change, right? So essentially you would change. You could change the speaker if you want to. So if you want like multiple speakers, you can do that as well. Right here, this is the prompt to actually get the media from iStock, so that's the media group. And then obviously you can edit the media. You can have media. Now this is some media that I've had for previous videos that I've done, right? So you can replace, you can just go ahead and click on that and replace the media with uh, media that you have created yourself, right? You can also upload new media. You can search stock videos. So I could go ahead and do crypto. I'll go ahead and do crypto and it will show me different iStock videos that I can actually use to replace in this, in this video right here. So as you can see, these are different iStock videos. I can go ahead and just replace the video right here if I want something else uh, to show. And essentially I could search pretty much anything I want. I, I, I could filter down by video image or I could search all of them. I could include premium iStock stock or not depending on obviously my budget. Obviously if I'm using premium iStock, stock, that is going to take away from the iStock stock that I'm allocated for the month. So obviously that's pretty cool as well. That's really cool. Now, another thing you can do is that you can just give it a prompt right here, right? So let's say I say, okay, make this scene. Okay. I could say increase, increase, I say increase the length of this 
video by adding more details, right? So you can go ahead and do that and click generate. And what it's going to do, what it's going to do is that once you decide to increase the link by adding more details, it's going to regenerate the video. It's going to add new scenes to the video and it's going to expound upon whatever was being said. So essentially you can make longer videos like this. If you feel the video is too short, you could go ahead and make longer videos like that. So as you can see, we're able to lengthen the video right here. So now the video is two minutes and 56 seconds. On these right and as y'all can see yeah it, it did say sorry i could shorten the video instead of lengthening it but i added a new scene about Merrill's strategy so it did len lengthen the video because the video was 1 158 before and now it's 256 pretty much and then it added new stock videos as well as updated the script for the narrator so it, as you can see it's more it's more stuff that the narrator is actually talking about so that's pretty cool as well. Now you can also clone your voice. So let me go, let me show you what I'm talking about. So you can change, you can do a speaker change right here. You can change the speed of the text, but you can also change the voice right now. They have like multiple speakers that you can do. So you have up to five speakers that you can pick and for each speaker, you can give them a voice. Now let's go to, let's go here. Let's go to, Let's go here and let's go to voices right now with voices as you can see i have five voices now they only allow you five voices on the max plan but if you do a max 2x you can actually double it and get 10 voices so i have these voices right here which i can then use in any media that i create or any media that i generate so obviously if i want to change the voice if i want to say it's loading right now so let's say I want to change the voice to another voice. So I have another voice called Henry. Let me change that. Change the voice and narrative to Henry. Change voice to Henry. All right. So it will go ahead. It will search for the voice that it will go ahead search for the voice that I already added named Henry, and then it will change the voice to that. Right. Okay, so as you can see and now, as you can hear now, we changed the voice to Henry. So it's in the cryptocurrency if you sphere. if you listen Blue to it, that's actually a different voice, and a voice that I had before. So Merrill Lynch. yeah, so that's pretty much how you do it. And you can clone your voice. The way you clone your voice is that you simply go here and then you literally just record. You record your voice, get like an MP3 file, upload it. So you click add your voice. I can't add any more. Record like a, uh, your voice in an MP3 file. Maybe you, you can use a voice recorder in your PC. Upload that MP3 file to NVIDIA AI, and then it will eventually take your voice, clone it, and then you can use it for your video. So that's pretty cool as well. Basically, what that allows is for you to be able to do videos without actually speaking. So if you want to make videos with your voice, using your voice, and not have to actually do the video yourself this is a great way this is great for if you want to do gaming news videos but you don't want to actually use your voice or you want to do crypto news whatever type of news videos i think this is phenomenal this is a great platform to use for that yeah that is pretty much what i wanted to discuss obviously there's other types of video you could do a TikTok video you could do a youtube explainer video and then essentially you can with the YouTube explainer video, you can choose up to um, 25, but you can actually choose as long as you want. They do give you the options of up to 25 minutes. But if you, let's say you wanted to do a documentary type of video, you could do, uh, say a 50 minute documentary on a particular topic and it will literally generate, uh, the video for you, put the, um, what you want the video to be about. Uh, and when you're prompting, you want to say exactly what you want and then you want to put you then you want to put the style that you want it in and things that nature. like for example i want so i, I could say create a 15 minute create 15 minute 15 minute document on the, the life of napoleon and uh 
any style by and providing background details of his early life. Something like that is a good way to write your prompt. So yeah, 15 minute. So something like that is a good way to write your prompt. You say exactly what you want first, and then you say how you want it. So essentially, that's how the AI usually reads uh, prompts. The, the thing that you want first should come at the beginning. So you want a documentary on the life of Napoleon, and you want it in a dramatic style, and you want to provide background details of his early life. So the additional stuff, how you want it to be done, comes after what you want. So that's pretty much a one-on-one, -on -one. and then you can add background music. You can say dramatic, and you can just make the music dramatic. The language could be in English, and you can say you can use any voice. Again, I can go ahead clear American voice, the narrator, and the bold subtitles, and then you go ahead and do that. You could continue and it will go ahead and generate that documentary of Napoleon. So yeah, and you can do this, anything. You can use your own voice, you can record your own voice and put your own voice in this video, doing the documentary yourself instead of using one of their voices that they generated. And you can do the same thing for YouTube shorts and you can make the short very fast paced and you can Tell it what you want the short to be about, if you want it to be about, let's say you want it to be about how to fry calamari or something, whatever, right? I don't know, I guess I spelled that wrong. But essentially you will make a video about that. You can put your music as upbeat and then you can add your subtitles, stuff like that. And it will literally make a YouTube short. Now you can essentially with YouTube Shorts, you can also decide that you only want to use YouTube Audio Library only. The reason for this is to prevent copyright, but you can also use Storyblocks Audio as well, which is also royalty free. And yeah, you can take, you can obviously set your voice how you want it as well. So this is a great, powerful tool that anybody could get started using today to really just generate great video content on YouTube and really supercharge your YouTube journey, supercharge your YouTube channel, get your channel going that if you don't know how to start, a lot of people are scared of showing their face on YouTube or scared of talking on a camera, talking for a video. A lot of people don't know how to edit or even if you do know how to edit, edit, it takes so much time to do it. So essentially this is a great way to get your channel going. You can supercharge, automate your YouTube channel just like this, right? Upload videos, schedule them out daily, have different topics that you want to talk about, create different topics, and you can literally run a whole YouTube channel just by using this tool. It is very powerful, allows you to create videos very quickly, quicker than normal. Definitely guys, InVideo AI, check the link in the description to join InVideo AI and have a great day. Casey AI signing out. Remember to subscribe to my channel. I'll be putting out more videos like this video. I have so much more to talk about in the world of AI. Obviously, very exciting times. Great news coming out. Exciting news. Definitely want to be your source for the latest AI news. But have a great day. Casey AI signing out.